thing, another thing actually, was the scene where, um, if I were at, called Brother Shaggy about his car because he calls his car in the kitchen, and I was like, oh, can you can you bring my car? This 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 this, and then when he drops the call, people that were surrounded by him and they go, ah, in kitchen don't go. What? I'm like, is this playing? I will promise too. Please don't do it. Please never ever again. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? What? It's See, you can always do things for things will not make sense. Why? Guy, this is what I do now for all. <laughs> if I come more, I will come up, but I stay with you because we brothers. <laughs> what do we want? my pretty fish you're welcome this is alima the bird and here we do a lot of movie conversations movie reviews lifestyle vlogs and you get to know me better and if you're regular on this channel already thank you for sticking with you thank you for coming back and today is another movie review guys another one just like the last one i gave you i'm going to give you another breakdown of another nigerian movie that you know it's been out for i think it was 2021 but you know it just came to netflix in 2022 and currently as i feel it is number one on netflix so i thought you know what i'm going to check this movie and i'm going to break it down to you guys so yeah which movie are we talking about today it is doing do so doing do is a movie by kyle kasum it was released in 2021 and this movie well it is about a lot of things <laughs> I know it's about a lot of things and I'm going to break it down from top to bottom. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So sit back, grab a popcorn and let's go on this fight together. Dream do the movie opens with, uh, we see um, two police officers, Funke Akidele and Bisola Ayola. They are meeting with their boss. The boss is telling them they are going on a mission with um, the governor of the Kawa state. That's the state they are in. In Lagos, they, are go they don't know what he's going for, but you know, the governor just wants two officers, two pretty ladies as officers going with him. And Funke Akinele, who is supposed to embark on um, a particular case to capture a terrorist, a criminal who has abducted a lot of students, a lot of female students in the past, is dumped off the case and, you know, she's going to embark on this journey with the governor accompanied with Isola Ayola. So yeah, they go on this trip with the governor. Somehow the meeting goes sideways. The governor gets kidnapped. Um, and somehow we find out that it is the son of the governor that told these people to kidnap his father because he owes some certain people a whooping amount of $5 million. And he thinks that they kidnap his father and ask him to pay a ransom. He's going to get his own share and be able to pay off his debt all. Um, there is also... Jide Kene, who acts Chinedu in the movie, and what's his name now? Bora Shaggy, who is Jide Kene's friend, who acts Buka in the movie. They are friends, they live together. Jide Kene doesn't have a job anymore because um, the government shuts down his, um, the dispatch company was supposed to work with the day he's supposed to start work. Um, his father has a surgery, he has a liver problem, he has to undergo surgery. He cannot get married to his girlfriend because he's broke. He's, he has um, rent to pay. You know, a whole lot of things, a bunch of things going on all at once for him. But I think he's just there, you know, it's not upon him. He's just like a pest in his life. <laughs> Sorry to call him that. But yeah, that is going on by one side. Um, there's the governor's case at another end. And yeah, there's also um, Timini, who is the son, the governor's son. Is also facing his debt all because now when he say you have to pay me and you know we're like okay so um what is going on like there's this story hanging here there's that story hanging there like okay when does it all come together you know like where's the connection <laughs> that's what i'm asking myself where is the connection but yeah towards the end of the movie we now see the connection that you know we've been waiting for all along so while the governor got kidnapped, we see that um, the officers, that is Bisola, Bisola Ayola and um, Funke Akidele, they are accused of his kidnapping. They have been sent to trial 
but somehow they get rid of the police officers that are taking them to trial and they escape they are on the run they went to meet temeson temeson is like a fraud star he used to um, export and be import fake dollars from china or whatnot go to meet temeson ask him to give them clothes and give them a car somehow temeson calls the police on them that okay oh yes we are looking for come and carry them and you give me how much how much is the um money for the whistleblower and all of that that case is on one hand Judy Kenner who has lost his job, he needs money for his father's surgery is there and um, Brother Shaggy is telling him I know the street ways, let me show you you are going to get money for your father's surgery he takes him to his friend who is acted by Efai Wara and this is a light I've never seen Efai Wara in I'm seeing him in this one like mm, let's see if he's going to kill this one <laughs> but yeah, um, Efai Wara is a taxi fly driver you know, like all these call cabs that we have now, like Taxify, Uber, Bolt, and yada yada, all of that stuff. So he's a taxi fly driver, he has his car, and you know, he's telling them that okay, if they have a car, he's going to introduce them to the business, and you know, they can get going. Um, somehow, if I were, goes into the bathroom to have sex with a, I don't know who she is, a bar lady or whatnot, and Bartali steals his car, let's say, okay, let us get on this fry, let us go and make money with his car. And while well, they are on their way, they pick up their first passenger of the day, which happens to be the kidnappers of the governor. While they are on the road, these people tell them to stop again. They want to, God knows what, maybe pee or whatever. And they come down of the car, come down from the car. But as I was already furious about the whole thing, he's like, what's even going on here? And he opens the bag and he sees money. Money. How they counted it to be 3.4 million naira. Me, I don't know. I'm not here. But she said they saw money there. And before the um, those ones came out, they were like, let us get going. This is money. This is what we need. Let us get going. And they zoom off, not knowing that there's a body in their car. Right? You guys see how it's all connected, right? These people are the governor before. This other one was supposed to protect the governor. These people they are looking for job, they found the governor. It's the governor that is like the connecting dot between everybody. And this is where everything collides, everything takes off from there. They start shooting, they want to meet you, they do yada yada, and yeah, that's how it all goes down. So, I think I've pretty much said everything that happened in the movie already, guys. But yeah, now let me now give you a breakdown of what I think about this movie. I can remember it French because I just watched it today, guys, and I was like, I must shoot this review and get it off my chest immediately. So, first thing first, this movie was Star. Packed. I must say that. I mean, I've mentioned a lot of stars now. I've mentioned the uh, Jibala Labo. Oh, Latif Ali Dimitri was in this movie and it was a very forgettable character, by the way. Um, JJ Kenya was in this movie. Uzo Aruki was in this movie. Um, who else? But Shaggy was in this movie. Um, if I were, I've said that. Um, who else? Isha Star Packed. All of them are in this movie. To be very honest, like a lot of people were in this movie. And I was like, okay, what's the importance of this person? What's the role of this person? Why is this person in this movie? Like, this movie is just star part, but like, I do not really see the effect. Like, hmm. But yeah, that's one thing. Another, oh, Timini, let me mention Timini at all. I feel like it was also a very, fun, though he contributed a lot to the movie, but it was like really forgettable also for me. Where yeah, Timini was the governor's son in the movie it was long this movie ran for two hours and eight minutes and honestly everything that happened could have just started from where they stole the cab where jide kenny and buddha shaggy stole the cab that's where i feel like the movie should have started everything that happened before was like story 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 it was long it could have lasted for an hour or say 15 minutes to be very honest it was too long and that was it was boring for me like can we just get to the point? So now the movie at the end kind of made sense, but who is going to sit down for two hours while all of this starts to play out? Woo! Do you understand? You know, because I was I was going to review the movie. I don't think I would have sat down for that long for this movie, to be very honest. But yeah, it was too long. Um, the location, some of the locations, I wasn't really sure where they were. Like I'm like, okay, so where is this exactly? For instance, the location where they took the governor when they wanted to you know fake his death and all of that 
I was like, okay, where is this place? I mean, I understand that they do not want to, you know, disclose whatever, but it just kind of felt some type of way to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but yeah. Um, what else do I find very funny? I feel like Brother, Brother Shaggy carried this movie on his back, and then at some point, it became too heavy for him that he couldn't cope. Because the, the comic relief was a lot. Like, it was too comical, big comedic, I don't even know what to call it. The comic relief was too much that at some point it became tiring. Like, oh, please don't. Don't. <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad when we talk about comedy, right? I just feel like they could have cut, like, don't make it, this is supposed to be like a crime thriller or something, right? Let it be, let it feel like crime. It didn't feel like crime. It just felt like comedy all through from beginning to end. And as much as I get that they are not, they are not trying to do the old stereotypical Nollywood kind of thing. It just made it hmm, some type of way for me. I must also say I did not enjoy Funke's performance in this movie. Funke and Bisola, like, I love Bisola a lot. And I'm like, I did not enjoy their performance in this movie. I feel like maybe they did not fit into character well. It wasn't like they were not trying to. It just felt like maybe it was a lot for them. I don't know. But yeah, they, they didn't really, you know, get into character. Maybe they could have casted somebody else that would have done a better job. I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Another thing, another thing actually, was the scene where um, if I were at called Brother Shaggy about his car because he calls his car in the kitchen and I was like, oh, can you, can you call? bring my car, this, 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 this. And then when he drops the car, people that were surrounded by him and they go, ah, in kitchen, don't go. What? I'm like, is this playing? I will promise too. Please don't do it. Please never ever again. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? What? It didn't make sense to me. Oh, another scene that was very, very annoying for me was the scene where um, Funky Anthony and Bisola were in the car. They were going for trial and they could, um, I don't know, they were trying to seduce the officers that were taking them. I'm like, for officers, I feel like there could have been a better strategy behind that. Like, you have done something more tactical than just doing, Officer, you too fine. Hello. Hello. Like, that was so dead to me. That felt like Prime 2 kind of acting. It wasn't real. That was Temison's, um, I don't know, worker in the movie. Like, he was just acting so dead. Like, brother, just shut up, man. I understand that you're scared, but like, just shut up. <laughs> just don't say nothing. Like, just be on screen and don't say anything. Yeah, pretty much all of that. Do I have a favorite character in this movie? I think it was Uzo Arukwe. I mean, he had, he had, he was giving right it was giving and i really liked it um yeah but Ashagi also you know as like i said he carried this movie on his back but it was just too much it was tiring to be honest and it was too long but yeah it wasn't it i don't even know if it was a good or bad watch i don't think naturally anybody would want to sit down and watch two hours of that but if you do and you've seen it and you have a thing or two to say tell me in the comment section below um, I would rate this movie a 4. Yeah, I think I'm, I just gave it a 4. 4 is fair for me because it was too much. I mean, you don't wait until the ending before you give us something to hold on to, right? Like, somebody has to wait for a whole whooping 150 minutes. I said 150 minutes. And how are 15 minutes before we see something that makes sense? Uh, it wasn't giving for me. So, yeah, that's a 4. Uh, if you don't watch it, you're not missing out on much. If you want to check it out, you could and tell me in the comment section what you think about it after you've seen it. But yeah, it's a four and that's all I think about the movie. Anyways, if you've not subscribed at this point and you're here, please do me the favor of clicking that subscribe button. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Smash the like button and share this video to your friends and family. If you've not seen my previous videos, please do check them out. I have a whole bunch of movie reviews on my channel. I have vlogs. I have NYC collection. Anything you want to see, just check it out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!